Hello. I have been asked to talk about sensitivity with being gay. And this is a stumper of a question I got from a subscriber. I've thought about it for a long time. Uh, trying to figure out how to do this justice. I can think of a few things. But first, what he wrote. The sensitivity one is the comments people make and attitudes they have. It depresses me, makes me resentful of being gay. Since it feels like an inconvenience, makes me feel like my life would be a lot easier if I were straight. Since situations like these are inevitable, I wanted to know how you got over stuff like that where it rolls off your back and doesn't depress you. Even if they aren't homophobic, people have ways of alienating gay people, so like I said, it depresses me and makes me resentful of being gay. Um, this is something I really want to encourage people to comment to, too, and not just to me, but like to this person and other people that are having concerns about this, but I... Everybody's situation with this is very different, so I was a little concerned that even if I do share and try to help, that it won't be good enough because it'll be very different than somebody else's situation and what they, they want help and advice from. But anyway, um, I kind of related to this more when I was younger and more insecure, and people could tell I was gay more easily. And now that I'm older and have put a lot of those bad feelings aside, it's not as easy for people to tell. And I don't usually like to talk about it with people, and which is why I think, you know, videoing is, or vlogs is a good outlet for me, because it's like not something I really like to bring into a conversation. I don't even know how I would do that. Like, it's just not something I, I want to talk about with anyone except just a couple people, you know? But the sensitivity one, sensitivity, I, I felt the only thing that I experience now is just comments under videos, under news articles. I used to be so bothered by that, and I'm not really anymore. I mean, how many stupid anti-gay comments can you read under stories and stuff before you start to just not really feel much of anything? The one thing lately, though, is that people will sometimes say, you can't be a Christian and then, like, be for gay people. That doesn't make sense. Church isn't for that. And I'll make a nice little correction. And I really am trying to be really nice to people, um, you know, because other gay people will call names and stuff. That's not good. This doesn't really help us. But um, please stop spreading that lie. There are churches that are accepting of gay people. Maybe your church isn't, but there are churches that are. And, you know, sometimes people will want conversation, and other times people just are trolling for a response. And one kid recently, I gave him information about the Romeo and Juliet gay swans. They didn't realize they were both female. And he just came back at, like, they're the only swans ever in the park. That's why they're gay. Why, why are you comparing yourself to animals? Gay people, um, if you keep comparing yourself to animals, then no one will take you seriously. And I just came back and just said, you sound really angry and bitter, but I was just giving you some information because you claimed that animals couldn't be gay. And... Uh, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> um, he didn't reply back. That was one of the recent ones. But when I got older, that's... I don't really like talking about it with anyone. So there's not really a lot that I'm sensitive to except gossip when I know people have talked about me and the ways they look at me and stuff. And he was also concerned about the subscriber about dates. And that's kind of another thing, is that you know, people kind of worry about, about dates, about what do I say, you know, things just, things just happen. It's not always about what you say, it's just people start talking and things, things happen and there's chemistry and there's not always like a romantic pickup line, there's not always the best thing to say. Sometimes people meet through friends or, or they, they just start to have an attraction to chemistry, I think... Especially with men, you know, they they can admire and sexualize each other even if they didn't normally felt like they did that. And I think that's what really freaks men out and like makes them run away when they've done something that they 
they're too embarrassed to talk about or they pretend they're too drunk to remember. But I think with men, the lines can really be blurred with that. And it can be really scary for people, but I do know that, like, once there was someone that, like, looked at me at a bus stop and I could just tell there was something, and I talked to him, and that that ended up sort of becoming something for a little bit, but, you know, usually it's not something like that. I mean, I don't even get hit on ever because people don't usually think I am, um, but if I go to a gay bar or <laughs> something like that, you know, people would assume that you are and then would try something. But I think that sometimes there's just a chemistry with people. I think that people kind of overthink it when they're thinking about pickup lines and stuff. But, you know, you you might offer someone a beer at a gay bar. You might tell someone that they that you like their song if they sing at karaoke. And there's, there's easy ways to make conversation at these kinds of places. But anyway about people alienating people there's there's people that will say and do the stupidest things to try to make people feel different and I think that for a lot of people that are gay or people that have you know on the autism spectrum somewhere it can really feel like you know I just want to fit in I just want to be normal and what I've really come to realize is that you're never going to be normal and that that's okay you know first there is no normal and the next and why would you want to be anyway? If you're meant to be creative and original, do you really want to sacrifice that just so more people will like you? And the people that really matter, they're not going to mind if you are different. And it's wrong that people alienate people and people make people feel uncomfortable. And I've had to learn over time what I want to share with people, what I don't want to share with people. And I've made bad decisions when I was younger with that. But, you know, you learn over time what kind of information is going to be bad in who to trust and what to say but people can make people feel really alienated for saying the wrong things and I think that gay people really need to be careful especially if they're around people that are really narrow with their their little box on their way of thinking but for me it was more when I was younger that it was bad but now that I'm older I don't I don't feel like talking about it with just anyone really I just don't see a point <laughs> I'm not randomly coming up to them and asking them about sexual thoughts they have or homosexual ones I, and I wouldn't really expect them to do that to me either and I don't think it's very professional at work to be talking about that stuff and I just wouldn't do it. Anyway, there's probably more to say on these topics, I, but that's kind of where I am now. I think it's important to be nice to the trolls. <laughs> And if they are trolling, does not to talk to them with the online comments. And as for other people, we need to find some mix and some balance about who we are and who we want to be and, and how we can make other people comfortable. You know, it's not going to be perfect. There are people that are going to have bad reactions and say and do stupid things, but we can't let that bother us too much. And over time, we'll realize that, you know, other people's opinions might matter less than we really thought we could just find a couple people that that we can talk to, that we can relate to, you know, then maybe everybody else can be against it and it won't matter against us. But I think that's all I have to say about all that, at least for now. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I hope that can help somewhat.